What to do every day to become more smarter? We all want to become that smart person in the room, don't we? But what needs to be done on a daily basis so that we can become more smarter? Of course, what we take in on a daily basis matters a lot when it comes to being an intelligent or a smart person because we what we feed our brain what we feed our body and what we feed our soul matters a lot and that's what we are at the end of the day so in this episode let's discuss about a few effective or easy ways that should be followed on a day, everyday basis to become more smarter the first thing that you wake up in the morning you should be drinking at least two glasses of water because night is the time when our body flushes out all the toxins out of us out of the organs and this will be stagnant in our body only if we drink water as the first thing that we get up it will help us to flush those toxins out of our body so the first thing that we do as soon as we get up should be to drink two glasses of water and what could be the second thing the second thing would be to brush our teeth of course get ready uh, to whatever we're supposed to be doing go take a bath wear nice clothes and all those things when you do all these things do not forget to look at the mirror and smile why i say this is because you are the most wonderful person that you ever know in this earth Am I right or not? Everybody likes themselves more than anybody else. And wouldn't it be great if you look at yourself and smile? This does not only improve your personality, but it also has an effect on the way you think about yourself. When you see yourself smiling the whole day, believe me, the whole day would be absolutely excellent. You'll have a very good mindset. You'll feel excited. you'll be enthusiastic to do whatever you like to do that day because you've seen yourself smile and that will be there in your mind as an impression a very good impression instead of frowning or thinking about all the problems you have or worrying about unwanted stuff just try this hack look at yourself in the mirror might be for a few seconds have a nice smile on your face see how energetic you feel see how it motivates you when you are psychologically or mentally feeling that you are the best without your knowledge and consciously you will start acting that way and the best thing to hack that is you have to smile this is the second thing that i wanted to talk about and what the next thing that we all would be doing is we'll travel we might take a cab or a bus or a what whatever vehicle you have to your office and when you do that when you have time enough time you try to listen to some stimulating podcast or audio books during your commute it does not only help in efficient use of time but also when you when you are exposed to uh, stimulating audios but you, you cannot read of course when you're traveling so you can listen to it when you listen to such audios it acts as a very good uh, means of motivation you might not feel it exactly in one or two go or one or in a week or so but when you have it as a practice even without your knowledge when something good is being said to you at the start of your day or something that is really interesting and motivating is said to you at the start of your day or be it any time of the day for that matter you would automatically without your conscious knowledge start believing it and you would become that way you start trying to achieve that uh, end through whatever means it takes and it all happens even without your conscious knowledge believe me and these are all scientifically proven then we might encounter people in our office or if you're working in a school or college might be we'll encounter our colleagues or other teachers or staffs or students or whatever profession it be even if you're going to school or college you'll be able to meet so many new strangers people who have different mindsets 
and when we confront people who disagree with us when it comes to a conversation and you project something that is in your mind and somebody who does not agree with you or somebody who has a different opinion about you normally we tend to develop that of uh, hatred or uh, we don't have normally have a very good opinion about them and we just try to avoid such conversations or we just try to escape from it to avoid any problems but trying to have a good conversation with people who disagree with you helps you a lot to become more smarter and why i say this is because when somebody who disagrees with you has something else about the same topic that you have got to say your opinion might be something and what they are trying to say might be totally different and it also helps you to see the other part of the coin or other part of the problem if you're going to speak to somebody who agrees with you on all matters whatever you say is going to prevail you're not going to think about it in another perspective but when it comes to somebody who disagrees with you and it should be healthy conversation you should not go and fight with them it should be a normal decent healthy conversation where both the parties agree and debate healthily on a topic and not fight over it so having such conversations with people who disagree with you is one of the ways where you can become more smarter having spoken about what should be done we should also consider what should not be done to become more smarter nowadays people are addicted to social media and almost all the time whenever they get time free time they just grab their phone or laptop or whatever it be and they indulge into that uh, trap that's what i would call it. you spend hours and hours seeing all those feeds and news and posts which are not necessarily exactly true it's what people want us to know so that's how it's conveyed through social media there are a lot of things that you already know about social media still you might be an addict to it and you might not know how to escape it and when what this is why i'm talking about this is because you might think what's wrong in watching it or what's wrong in spending time in social media because whatever you feed your mind is what is going to stay in the long run that's what is going to mold you If you're going to spend a lot of time on unnecessary unwanted trash or news that is not relevant that is of no use and that brings more negativity into your life then there's no scope to become more smarter if you want to become smarter limit your usage and be selective of what you feed be selective of the channels or the topics or the posts that you see it's all possible you can stream yourself into what you want to become you can guide yourself to choose what is good for you you know that you you are the best judge of yourself you don't have to go ask anybody else you know what is needed for you so restrict yourself to only that content and also limit the screen time too much of anything is good for nothing having spoken about social media and if you're somebody who watches tv on a regular basis and a lot of tv yes if you're somebody like that try to switch it to books or video games video games are also good in a way but too much of it is also bad but it's actually uh, good because it helps you to uh, develop that uh, skill to handle any situation where you need to prove yourself because when you play a game you want to win and you you have to provide you are often confronted with many difficulties and you find you finally try to get out of it there are many uh, brain games that will help you you can choose such games instead of watching tv and reading books i don't have to say it's it's already written everywhere and everybody knows enough of it reading books is the best means to become more smarter and just not fictions non fiction self help books autobiographies biographies all these things we have just just make it as a mixture just not concentrating on only one genre but a mixture of everything just to give it a try and see what you like then you'll be finally amazed at how smart you become of all the most important is to remind yourself that smart work is way way better than hard work hard work yes of course it pays you it is good everyone must work hard but think about this 
smart work with less time less effort achieving the same result that's wonderful isn't it so always have this idea in your mind smart work is always better than hard work and when you have this thought in your mind registered automatically you become more smarter why i say in most of the points that when you imbibe it or imbibe this idea of being smart you become smart and that's true because it's already proven by so many scientists and researchers you could google it or find it anywhere and this is what is written in most of the self help books also it all starts with you it it all starts with the thought that you have and you have the capability to mold the thoughts that you have and it's a superior or super power to don't you think that you you can create your own destiny your own life just by thinking about it thinking about it in a positive way and that's how people those who succeed that's a secret that they follow some of them have also opened up about it follow these tricks to become more smarter have you got any interesting topic that you want me to take up feel free to list them down in the comment section also to share your suggestion and feedback in the comments below and yes don't forget to subscribe and press